hello welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back guys today I have a very quick video for you and uh, for most of you already know well most of you don't know but recently I did a video and I told you that my husband and I decided not to eat meat we stopped eating meat like July no August 29 and today is I think like the 22nd and we haven't eaten any meat yeah well I should say we have not eaten like beef pork chicken but we're still eating fish so let me make that clear we're still eating fish so today I'm gonna make a video a recipe for you that have shrimp okay mixed vegetables lots of different vegetables with rice and we're gonna make that today so I want to show you exactly how I'm gonna do that so I went ahead so that I don't just kind of drag this video out. I went ahead and cleaned and chopped everything up. So let me show you what I have that is going to go into this mixed vegetable rice. Let me show you. So here I have, this is one large red onion. Over here I have some broccoli that is chipped up small. I have half a bell pepper right here. This is two large carrots. Is these are sliced very thin i have over here my shrimp i have a bowl of spinach over here what we're going to be using and this is half a cabbage okay so i'm gonna put this all together put it all together with some rice and this is gonna be a one meal first thing i'm gonna do guys is season my shrimp right here these shrimp have been cleaned, they're deveined, and I dry them really well. I have some seeds. I bought this from Barbados, guys. A few months ago, I was in Barbados. I miss Barbados. I want to go back. When I was there, I bought this bottle of seasoning there. This has onions, scallions, peppers, everything inside of it. I also have a video up that tells you exactly how to make this, just in case you want to make it. But when I was there, I liked it, so I bought this tub here. I bought two of them. I gave one to my daughter and I took one. I got to see how much of hers she used use because mine is almost empty. So anyway, I'm just going to take this and put on my shrimp like this and then take my hand and just massage it. Just massage it well. I really don't need to add anything else on here. So this is good enough for me. You can let it sit for a little bit. If you want to add more spices on here, you can go ahead and do that. But this is good enough for me right now. So let's go over to the stove. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with these shrimp. All right, so in my pan, I have about half of half a cup of olive oil in here. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit hot. So I'm going to put my shrimp in. And we're going to cook our shrimp a little bit first. And we're going to spread out the shrimp and let it cook for a couple minutes and then turn them on the other side. We're, we're going to cook this for about five minutes on one side, turn them on the other side for maybe three or four minutes and then take them out. All you do is turn them on my other side just so the other side can cook a little bit. And that's it to the shrimp. You don't want to cook shrimp too long because if you cook them too long, they get rubbery. So just a few minutes in here and then you take them out. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so after I cook my shrimp on both sides for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take them out and put them on a plate. Because we're going to use this same pan with all the seasonings and the flavor in here. We're going to use the same pan. I don't want to overcook the shrimp, so I'm going to take them out. Okay. After I take... After I take the shrimp out... Now, I'm going to add a little more oil to that. You're going to need a big pan for this, guys, okay? After I take my shrimp out, I'm going to go ahead and add my red onion in here. I'm 
Mix that up for a little bit. If you have fresh garlic, add that as well. I'm gonna add my red bell pepper. And I'm gonna mix this up well. And let it saute just for a couple minutes. I'm gonna leave that right there for a couple minutes just to saute. After I let this sweat for about two minutes, I'm gonna add my carrots. Now when you cook your carrots thin, when you cut, not cook, cut your carrots thin, then they soften up a little bit. But you don't want your carrots to be too soft because everything in here I want to still have a crunch. So you don't want to cook your carrots, but you just want to make them a little bit soft but not too soft, okay? So we're gonna keep that in here. To that, I'm going to add my cabbage. That's half a cabbage. And just let this all come to down a little bit, sweat down a little bit. Oh, I'm going to add, you see how small I cut this up, right? All the stem and so on, I cut up small, as you can see. So now I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to add a little spices to that, guys. I'm going to add some onion powder. And I think about one teaspoon of onion powder is good, but I'm just going to sieve it in here. And this would all depends on how much you're using. And I'm going to do here, that's gar onion powder I just put in there. This is garlic powder. This is probably about one teaspoon. Probably use about one teaspoon though, but you can average it and um, add more if you want more or less if you want more, okay? Now to this, I'm going, I have a whole big bowl of spinach here. You'll be going to be surprised to see how this is going to all cook now. But we're going to add half of it, a part of it, and add it in slowly as it sweat down. Then we'll add more. So see no more can hold in here right now. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And just let it sweat down for a little bit before I add the rest. Otherwise... You have everything falling out. Guys, we're not eating meat. And Charles may have been implementing more. Charles may have been putting a lot more vegetables in our diet. So this meal that I'm cooking is not for us. We're going out to a little get together. You know, one of those little potluck things. So we asked to bring a dish, so this one is what I'm taking. I also gotta make another one on Wednesday. Now I'm gonna add my last set of shrimp. Um, now I'm adding my last set of spinach. So far, this is the third set that I put in. I had to put them in a little bit at a time because the pan is, you know, they were a little bit too much. But see how they're sweat down. So that is the last set of spinach in there. So this is it for the, the, the vegetables. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to come back to this. But I'm going to cover this pan for a little bit. Give it like maybe like two or three minutes just to sweat down for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and give it a good stir. Hey guys, so now I have this green, these nice green vegetables here. And I want it to taste good. I don't want to eat just a bunch of leaves. So now we're gonna season it up and make it nice and tasty. And I'm gonna put some salt to that. They won't put any salt yet. And mix it up well. Make sure it is nice and tasty before we add anything else to it. A little while ago that I add to the shrimp, I'm going to add a little bit of that mix everything tastes good mix it up well and I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter and I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter just to flavor it up a little bit that's not a lot of butter but of course you know you can always add that out and then what I need to do is to taste it I'm gonna taste it and just 
to see if, it's, if I need to add a little more salt to it or not. Mm-mm. No stirree. Push it out. Draw. I don't need to add anything else to it. It is perfect. So the vegetables are all done. See how quick that was, guys? So over here, I have some rice. This is some rice that I cooked a little while ago. If you want to know how to cook rice, I have a video up there. But I cooked some rice earlier, so now I'm going to add this rice. I'm going to add this rice to the vegetables, so let's go do that. So let's add this rice in here. And stir it in. Stir it up. Gonna mix it up well. Make sure every all of it. Okay, guys. So I'm just about finished mixing it up. This is basically what it looks like. So I'm gonna add now the shrimp. Because I do all of this first and then I add, add the shrimp in last. My husband said me I need more shrimp. There's not enough shrimp. I should have bought some more, but I didn't want to go back to the supermarket again. I just mix it up well that I can just be distributed throughout. And that's it. Nice. Over here, the vegetable rice is all done. You see exactly how I made that. Very simple, very easy, and you guys can make it. And once you make this, this is all you need for a balanced meal. You know, you have your vegetables, your spinach in there, your carrots, your cabbage. You have your shrimp, a little bit of protein. You have the starch, the rice. So you have everything. So once you make this, you eat this, you don't need to make anything else, okay? So let me go ahead and taste it and tell you how it tastes. I think I got a piece of shrimp in this brown piece here. Mm. Everything is seasoned well because I seasoned my rice. I put a little bit of salt to the rice when I was cooking it, so the rice was already seasoned. I seasoned the vegetables so that they're not just plain. And I season the shrimp. So everything has a little seasoning in it. Perfect. Your vegetables in here is not overcooked. They're crunchy. Look, you can see the broccoli right here is still nice and green. It's not overcooked. And the carrot is still has a little crunch to it. It's not too soft. It is perfect. Guys, mm. Mm. Guys, if you want to have a quick and healthy meal, go ahead and give this a try. It's a stir-fried vegetable rice. Perfect. If you don't want rice, there's also quinoa. Quinoa cooks the same way as rice. One cup of rice to two cups of water. Cooks the same way, and then you do completely the same thing, okay? This was, this tastes really good. I cooked a lot of it because I'm going out right now by a friend. I'm going to take this over there so that some other people can enjoy it. That's why I cooked this, this much because it's just Charles and I here. We're not going to eat all of this, okay? Guys, I had fun making this. and I hope you have fun giving it a try and making some for yourself. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I may not always get back to you right away, but I, I read each and every single comment that you write me. Until next time, bye-bye.